More than 100 employees at a Swedish company named Epicenter are doing that, saying it streamlines office life. They are microchipping us. You will get chipped, eventually. The plan to microchip the whole human population with RFID chips under the skin has already begun. I feel like the point that's really, I've never heard anywhere else at least, it's, they've already been doing this. With mandatory implants as soon as you are born, they will control you completely, making it possible to track you anywhere in the world at any time and control which services and geographic areas you have access to. This is the real reason they gave us the internet. A company in Minnesota will soon be offering employees the option to get a microchip implanted in their hand to streamline work life. Using ID badges at work may become a thing of the past, and microchip implants may become the future. Many people scared by the fake war on terror transhumanists and people living in unsafe areas with lots of crime and police already welcome the microchip. Their plan is to introduce the chip step by step to different groups of people until we all rely on it, at which point they will make it mandatory. It will be presented as cool and easy and people who refuse it will be ostracized and restricted. Implanting microchips in humans, it's a move that's meant to make people's lives more convenient at work. A company in Wisconsin is the first in the country to microchip its employees. Would you let your boss put a microchip in your body? Human microchipping. Within a few years, if you don't have a chip under your skin, you won't be able to pay for anything, including food, rent, and utilities. Travel, drive cars, fly, take taxis or public transport, use a computer or the internet, enter commercial areas, concerts and events, use public services or health services, enter your building or apartment, get a job, have a bank account or earn money. In the last stages of the rollout, it will be a criminal offense to not have a readable chip. If the employees, including the CEO, will voluntarily have the microchips implanted into their bodies. What did the employees say when you brought this idea to them? Half of them actually within five seconds says yes. Many are excited to give the new technology a try. I think it's kind of cool. Just pop it up there and it'll work. They are using fear and terror to make you think the chip is a good thing, keeping you safe. They are already microchipping your pets. Your phone and identification already have RFID chips in them. It would be so much easier if you were wearing one permanently under your skin, right? With the chip you can track your children, stop terrorists, pay and log in automatically. No need to remember passwords, no need for keys, and so much more. It's so convenient, don't you agree? We had these four chips inserted in our cards. I covered it with some tape, but um, even when I moved from Wells Fargo to a uh, credit union, I was still forced to have this chip. And I, I mean, does anyone like these chips? They suck. They take longer than just sliding your card. Also, the noise they make when you spend it, you lose. I don't like these chips, and I feel like these are the beginning stages of microchipping. First convenient, then necessary, then mandatory, first near, then on your skin, then under. Is this really happening? Do any search for microchip combined with any word, and you will see that a lot of people are thinking about this right now. A lot of people have already been microchipped, and as more and more products and services offer microchip-based solutions, it will be more and more convenient to just have a chip and after a while you will start depending on it and then it will be necessary and once it's necessary then you might as well force it by law the easiest is to just give it to children a permanent chip that you carry your whole life connected to your name and your money and your bank account and your passwords. The only problem is that the businesses 
the governments, the people running these services, the people promoting these ideas, want to control you and enslave you. Is that what you want? The latest office innovation is a microchip implanted in the skin and designed to replace the traditional keypad for opening doors, using the copier, even buying food in the cafeteria. Just pop it up there, it's that simple. So to give you a sense, here's a grain of rice. The chips will be inserted like this grain of rice right here between your thumb and your forefinger. And most of the employees have opted in. It is voluntary. One size fits all, I guess. <laughs> Microchips implanted in human bodies could transform the way we tackle many everyday tasks. Some workers in Sweden are already developing and volunteering, volunteering rather, to have chips injected into their hands. The technology can make some tasks easier and reduce the amount of personal items employees need to carry. A microchip implanted in his hand makes his life easier. It replaces all the keys and cards that used to clutter his pockets. I use this many times a day, for example, to unlock my smartphone. It felt pretty scary, but at the same time, it felt very modern. I love gadgets, and uh, now I kind of feel like I'm a gadget myself. The next generation of- Now some employees are actually getting microchipped. I can't wait till this starts here at CCO. About 150 workers at the Epicenter Startup Hub in Stockholm, Sweden, decided, let's do it, let's get this microchip. It's about the size of a grain of rice. So it's pretty small, it doesn't okay. hurt, you barely feel it. So, you know, you just go up, you just stand by the thing, and a it works. Wave. Yep. It was brilliant. At first, I was completely against it, but, you know, I was thinking more about it, and just the convenience of not having to carry anything, to just walk up to a door, it opens for you. Yep. Just today, I recently got a new phone, and I realized how much I appreciate that thumbprint, and how much I took it for granted, because I could reset my settings Sure. Four digit code, oh my gosh, it took up so much time to do that. Four digits, yes. that time. And now I'm like, oh, what would I do without the thumbprint? You, so now you're ready to go I'm the next kinda, step. I'm kind of ready for it, you know? This? And see what other possibilities are out. It's great. You never have to worry about losing ID cards, you know, the for security it, purposes. Security, it's fantastic. I actually uh, am intrigued by the, techno mm -hmm. the technology, and you think about all the things, especially like passwords, all the passwords you need to have. Mm -hmm. Or even you just could to open a, your car if you forget your yeah. keys. Would you be willing to implant something like this into your hands so you could maybe easily open doors at work or even log on to your computer? Oh, not if it's that big. No, Tell smaller. A uh, River Falls, Wisconsin company claims it's going to be the first in the country to implant microchips in most of its employees. A business in Wisconsin implanting microchips in its employees in the skin of their hands. So what are they tracking and would you say yes if your boss asked you to do the same? Industry experts forecast we could see these chips used by hospitals to store our medical records, even at airports to store that passport information. And that is just the beginning, David. Right in our hands? Right in our hands. Microchip meant to make the workplace experience faster and more efficient. The implant, which has been FDA approved. Do you think this is the future? It is the future. This is the future. There is just as much interest from parents with young kids that want to be able to implant their children with a GPS chip. When I scan my hand at my door, uh, the lights will turn on that I want to come on and ACDC will start up with Hell's Bells. We have a lot of non-employees that are actually going to be implanted with a chip on Tuesday next week. Along with, uh, we've had calls from several hospitals and mm -hmm. about uh, over 20 businesses that are very interested in getting this chip. Would you be comfortable if the government or Amazon, same thing I guess, did this to you? Well, they do it to the military right now, the government does, and it's a huge tactical advantage out on the uh, fields, uh, also with children, and we had a country call us regarding uh, kidnappings, they're having a problem, so okay. I guess it's the next thing. <laughs> Experts say it won't be long until microchips are used as passports, driver's licenses, even to pay for things like public transportation. I wouldn't be the first to try it, but I think if a lot of people did it, I would do it. Implanted microchips may seem disturbing to a lot of people now, but maybe not for long. This won't be a big deal 5, 10, 15 years down the road. Melissa Timmons was skeptical, but is now chipped. Yeah, right now it's only to buy a candy bar and get in our building, but there's a lot more that's going to be be coming with it. I was hesitant. What am I implanting into my body? And my kids were kind of the ones that got me excited. Did you feel it? 
Yeah, yeah, a little bit. It wasn't bad. In the future, we'll be able to use it as a passport. You can use it in public transportation as a form of payment. The latest innovation that's drawing worldwide attention. Pretty quick and easy. It really was. I didn't really feel anything, to be honest. In a lot of ways, it was easier than a shot. How much did that hurt? Didn't really hurt a lot. I think it's a step towards the future. The chips could eventually save lives. Somebody who's allergic to something or has a condition, they could scan your hand and all the information is there. Three Square Market is working with a Swedish company to embed the microchips in its employees. Everybody wants to know how big is it, right? In order to pay, they won't use a credit card. All they'll have to do is flick their wrist. The owner, Todd Westby, his wife and two children will also be getting...